Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 23 player review. Today's player review is Shapeshifters Thiago Silva from level 10 from season 7. So let's get into it. As always, I start off with the team that I used for this review. As you can see, it's a 4 2 4 icon, hero, Serie A, and Premier League hybrid with Thiago Silva up at right striker alongside Tammy Abraham. So let's look at my stats after my three Rivals games. Now on the screen you can see I played three Rivals games, scored six goals and got four assists. So let's head into the gameplay. Okay, so into the gameplay section we go. As you can see, two minutes into Silva's debut, I don't even know how that ball went back to him, but fortunately it did. Di Maria into Abraham, into Silva, finesses it into the far corner. My opponent said goodbye, two goals on his debut. As you can see yet again within, well basically a minute, Silva through to Abraham who finishes it off with a very nice chip. Then Pogba winning the ball high up the pitch. Silva absolutely smashing it into the top left hand corner. Then Wijnaldum into Silva. Martinez trying to defend. I mean Silva's sent him back to Ajax. Then Wijnaldum once again into Silva, into Abraham. I mean that that's just silly at that point. And we're not even done yet. So, Silva on the ball once again, into Abraham. I mean, he's basically scored the same goal twice. But we're still not finished. Silva into Abraham, 2-1 Oldham, into Silva. And basically, I've scored the same goal three times in a row. But I'm not complaining. Three goals, three assists. So, this is the penultimate clip. Silva into Abraham. Goalkeeper went walkies. This is the final clip of the gameplay. So I shall be back in a second with the pros and cons. So into the pros we go for Thiago Silva. First of all would be his pace. Now I did apply a Hawk, so it gives him 99 sprint speed and 92 acceleration. He is also lengthy with a hawk, otherwise he's actually controlled. Lengthy, everyone knows at this point, is just above and beyond all the other run types. Shooting, absolutely incredible. With a hawk, besides his volleys and penalties, everything's 99. And even then, his penalties are 98. Passing was actually surprisingly good. Short and long passing, 94 and 95 respectively. Reactions and composure, up at 96. As you saw from his first goal in the gameplay, without those reactions, he most likely wouldn't have been there. Physicals, absolutely incredible. Basically all in the high 90s, bar stamina because of the Hawk. The upgraded 5-star weak foot. I mean, as a striker, you can't really ask for more. Four-star skill moves. It is what it is. I don't really use them, so it doesn't really bother me. But overall, fantastic card. Onto the cons for Thiago Silva. And it has to be his 80 agility and 85 balance. Now, I don't know why, but it's sort of on and off with his cons. Because there's some times where... He'll ball roll and just spin a defender, but then there's other times when he's got the turning circle of a bus. So for me, I'm putting it as a con, but I'm just being very nitpicky at this point. He was very, very good, but when I think about recent strikers like Lukaku, he was just complete. There was basically nothing wrong with that card, whereas this card, you may suffer a little bit with his agility and balance. So do I still think you should take Thiago Silva from level 10 for season 7? And it's a maybe. Now, 
here is my issue. This card is absolutely incredible. Don't get me wrong. But as I said in my con section, someone like Lukaku, I just enjoyed far more. Now, Silver did get six goals and four assists in three games. So 10 goal contributions in three games is fantastic. But there's just something about him that he just doesn't feel that enjoyable to play with. As I said in my video yesterday of what to take from level 5 up to level 40, I said I'll take Silver for a player review, and then on my second account I'll take the fodder pack, and depending on who you have at striker, I would probably give this Silver card a miss. He is a fantastic card, don't get me wrong, but an 85 times 10 what you could potentially get in that will be most likely far greater than the 92 rated Thiago Silva. So unless you're actually going to start and use Thiago Silva, then I would probably take the fodder pack. It's all dependent on your team. And, you know, if you're a Chelsea fan, obviously take him. Use him for a Chelsea past and present. But realistically, I think you probably can give this Thiago Silva a pass. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. Comment down below whether you're going to be taking Thiago Silva from level 10. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any FIFA 23 content. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.